Oswald Spengler said that optimism is cowardice. Now, I'm not much of an optimist, but I am what you might call an optimistic pessimist. The West will die. There's no getting around it. Our civilization will die, just as every great civilization has done after a phase of consolidated empire. Imperium. Ours happening to be global. We live in what Spengler calls a Faustian civilization, one based on the idea of the infinite, the boundless, the relentless. Tragic, really, since we're continually building something up which we know at some level will never be complete. And all civilizations have done this, started with a basic idiom by which they manipulated the world and used it to its exhaustion. So there's no hope for the West as such. There is no hope for the West. Say it with me, kids. There is no hope for the West. It will burn. Now, the reason I say I'm an optimistic pessimist is because even though Faustian civilization is doomed, our focus on the infinite has given us a level of technological advancement and of social decline unparalleled in history. Now, this unique development doesn't invalidate Spengler. It's simply an integral part of our civilization and is set to die along with it. But I do think our technology gives us a big opportunity. In the, in the decline of the West, uh, Spengler talks about how there have been high cultures which have risen from the ashes of another and first built themselves up using forms and motifs from that civilization before steadily discarding them as they matured. So while Faustian civilization is doomed, there is a chance of preserving some of the stock that currently exists within it. And I'm not just re referring merely to genetic stock, I'm, I'm, but certain elements of philosophy and technology as well. Uh, technology is a bit tricky, but there are philosophers like Spengler, Nietzsche, Evola, Fitzhugh, maybe Kierkegaard, Ragnar Redbeard, Wunzel Weiter, who constitute something of a tradition all their own. And so I'm of a mind that we can use the coming Imperium, or even just the extant directional flow of Faustian civilization towards that point, to sort of branch off to the side, away from the filth, away from the decline, and build something new before the old is fully gone. We can use the aforementioned elements as a stepping stone, perhaps, but this new culture would have to have a new focus, a new totem. New mathematics, new ontology, new religion, new languages, perhaps, new science, new art, a new cultural shorthand but where, whereby the world will be associated with. Now, this may not be possible. It may be even that, you know, even though certain Faustian forms will be used by the next great culture, uh, I'm looking at Asia, this one must be fully extinguished. That may be the case. Uh, but w if we don't have to start absolutely and completely from scratch on the formulaic level, why must it be so on the material level? Perhaps that is just the order of things. In any case, I accept the decline. I embrace it. It is inevitable and necessary. Imperium approaches. But its establishment, or even merely the current developments which lead up to it, may present a grand opportunity for those of us with the foresight, with the cognitive capital, to seize it. What would a Roman do if he knew he had a couple centuries left? And as long as I have the means to do so, I will attempt to build this new metaphysics, this new religion, this new cultural base. Who's with me?